Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. I'm Cole. And I'm Joe, reporting from level two of Jumanji. This is your morning news. The SOS Scholarship is a needs-based scholarship for first-generation female students. Applications are currently open and are due February 11th. Lions Club is giving away a $1,000 needs-based scholarship. The deadline for your application is February 12th, 2021. Please see Ms. Mora for more details. Now, to Tyson for his review of 2021. Yo, what is up everyone? We're back at it with another review, right? But this time, we're doing a review on 2020. So, starting with one of the best events in 2020 happened in March, Animal Crossing, the New Horizon came out. It's a sandbox creative social simulator game in which you can make a neighborhood or town and try to grow it as much as you can. It's a really fun play, you should check it out. And then shortly after that, we have Kanye West running for president. You know, very fun dude, very cool dude, running for president. Pretty good. After that, we gotta go with Cyberpunk 2077. So this one happened pretty recently. Not many people were happy at the release of the game. Apparently it had a lot of bugs, a lot of things yeah. players could take advantage of. It wasn't, wasn't really good. They should have mm -hmm. slowed down the production for sure. They took it off the PlayStation Store. And along with that, the PlayStation 5 came out. And good luck finding, finding one. It's hard to get right now. Mm -hmm. It was even sold out on Black Friday at Target, Walmart, Best Buy. No one could find one. It's sold out right now, actually. Mm. After that, we have TikTok being banned. Now, this one happened quite a lot. Went back and forth with the president until finally some company bought it. Okay, final verdict. We talked about all the good points of 2020. Well, mostly. But the year has not been that great. I'd give it a solid 2 out of 10. Honestly, 2020 was at best a mid-tier year. I give it a 3 out of 10. We had some good releases still. True. Whole lot of disappointment. That's all, Wildcats. Bye! In sports news, girls soccer faces off against Seminole High School in an away game tonight at 5.30 p.m. Boys basketball has a home game against Colonial at 6. To purchase tickets, go to GoFan.com. Girls flag football will begin conditioning this week after school, and there will also be an informational meeting on Friday after school. Please, bring your own water and your own mask. Thank you. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a terrific Tuesday and stay tuned for a video about face-to-face -face protocols. Hello everyone, it's Ethan back with a safety protocol slash reminder for our returning face-to-face -face students. Now even though the dreadful year of 2020 has been wiped from our minds, it's very important that we still maintain physical distancing and wear the mask at all times. It's also very important that when at lunch, you should be sitting where there is a blue X marked for you and that when moving around the cafeteria, your mask should still be on. All right, that's pretty much it from me. So continue to be safe and I look forward to bringing you more entertaining stuff for the news.